Okay. Well, I told you I'd make some more videos. So, my next video, well, firstly, hope you're well. It's Johnny here. I'm at my office, uh, my real estate office, but I thought I'd use this uh, backdrop and uh, use a whiteboard today. So, we're mixing it up. Okay, so today's topic is Johnny's top 10 tips on shredding. So, these are uh, these are just things that I've, I've just come up with. But I like doing this top 10 video, so let's get straight into it. Firstly is your mindset. So, um, you, need, you need to really think, when you're getting shredded, you need to really think about the analogy of uh, petrol. So, when you're holding fat, someone taught me this, fat is like, it's, it's really like petrol. So, people that have got more fat on them are holding more petrol, and you really need to just to burn that off. So, the mindset is, You've got to constantly be burning this fuel because you don't need to carry around so much petrol. There's there's food everywhere. So ideally, you want to have a lower body fat percentage because it looks a lot better. You don't be super shredded, but these are my tips on how to get lean. So really, first one is mindset. Think of the fat as petrol and you are just needing to burn off more than you refill the tank in each day. So that comes down to really a calorie deficit. And then we'll go um, into that a little bit more, but these are more mind hacks. So number one, Mindset, think petrol, okay? And we are burning as much of that fuel within reason as possible. Okay, now number two we've got down here is tracking. Now what do I mean by tracking? So Scott and myself, my coach Scotty Slayman, absolute legend, has got me to, to track all my food. So you can use apps like Chronometer, Chronometer, that's an app that we use. And that'll allow you to uh, track all your foods or you can use my fitness pal, but that'll really get you disciplined in actually looking at what you're eating and finding out how many calories you're actually consuming. Otherwise, it's just a bit of hit and miss. So once I started tracking, I really started uh, learning about what I'm eating. It'll teach you about foods too, because you'll actually scan things and you go, oh, you know what? That's got you know 17 grams of fat in it. I might have something else. So start tracking your food. It is overwhelming. But once you get into a habit, it becomes really easy. Then you can copy and paste your days in uh, in chronometer. And if you find a day that you like, and you know it's a two and a half thousand or three thousand calorie or two thousand calorie day, you can then get into a habit of doing the same days and preparing the same meals. So it, it makes things easier. So number one mindset. Number two, start tracking your food and really nutting down, nutting down, really honing in on what you're actually eating. Okay, this works for me. It might not be for everyone, but you want to leave some uh, some things, some tricks in the tank when you want to get leaner. So what's worked for me is I actually like to eat more and move more. So for my last shred, I've been having like nearly 3,000 calories. Now I'm at 2,750, uh, but I, I move a lot more. Moving more allows me to have something uh, later on that I can use by decreasing the food a little bit. So if you start with a set point that's too low and you're only on... 1500 calories and you're not losing weight um, you're better off as Scotty would say correct me if I'm wrong is maybe trying to reset your your set point to having a little bit more food and moving more and then when you want to get lean you can actually decrease the food or decrease the amount you move but for me what works is eating more and actually moving more so the more you move the more, the more fat you're going to burn I hope that makes sense so eat more move more for me at the moment, I'm, uh, I get up and I do an hour on the stepper every single day. That burns like between, I don't know, 350 to 500 calories. I'm not sure, depending on the machine. And that helps me get in a deficit. And then I'll go for a few walks during the day too. And sometimes I might even go do cardio again at night time. But definitely moving more. Okay, number four is food prep. Okay, so being prepared. And this is super important. Now, there's that saying, you know, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. You need to be prepared in everyday life with your food. So, uh, for instance, I went to my mum's last night for dinner. She had a homemade cheesecake there, which looked absolutely phenomenal. But I brought my own meals because I'm so dedicated at the moment, so onto it, that I didn't want to be um, thrown in the temptation of eating, you know, bad foods because those calories can actually accumulate really quickly. And you might work your ass off all week, you know, eat well, do your cardio, and then you might be in one place at a bad time and eat an extra couple thousand calories just by not being disciplined 
or not being prepared and you'll blow it out and that'll be you know a few more days of getting that, getting back down to being lean and you get hard on yourself too so if you're actually really prepared with your meal and just get into a habit of preparing so prepare your food actually prepare think ahead think of the events you've got think of the christmas parties and go you know what what can i do maybe i could have a meal before i go to this christmas party so i'm satiated or um what, what's another thing to be prepared for? Maybe I won't drink too much because I lose my inhibition that if I drink, I might eat more food. So just just really be prepared and really be disciplined because if you want to get lean, it's actually it's actually hard work. You need to be really on the ball. So being prepared and food prep for me, massive one. Okay, uh, number five, little hack here too. So phone inspo. Now, you look at your phone all day long, I'm filming on my iPhone 13 now, but hypothetically, this is your phone, right? Every time you open up your phone, you're gonna see what's on the background there. For this phase of you getting leaner, maybe put a photo of someone that inspires you. So for me, I put a photo of Azza, or Ronnie Coleman, or Greg Plitt, or someone I looked up to, uh, and that'll keep me motivated because that phone inspiration you keep looking at will keep you motivated, or if you like, Put a photo of a holiday destination you want to go to and that will keep you on track because you all know you're going to eat clean and do all these things but it's really the mindset hacks that you you can add to your life to help you stay disciplined and i found that one there has worked for me many times in the past where i'll change the background on my phone dependent on my main goal and focus and it's really helped me psychologically so give that one a crack change the background on your phone or your screensaver okay Big one, number six, is clean out pantry. Now, I used to get uh, hung, like just hungry at night time. Um, and then I go to the pantry and I just eat whatever. And I just would lose my inhibition. And then I feel really shit. So if you clean out your pantry in the first place, you don't have those junk foods there, you can't actually eat them. So get rid of the shit. So clean out your pantry, make an effort to not have any junk in your pantry, and then you won't be able to eat any crap. So it's, it's just really simple, but clean that out. Go donate it. Maybe don't chuck it out. You don't want to waste food, but give it to some, give it to your neighbor or just go, hey, you know what? I'm trying to get shredded. I want to get freaking triated glutes. I want to be a beast. So I'm getting rid of the junk food. And make do it now. Go do it after this video. Go clean out your pantry. Or well, if you live with your family, that's a tough one because uh, they might have a pantry full of shit. Then it comes down to pure discipline. But if you live on your own, like myself, clean out your pantry, make the effort to do that. Oh, the light's flashing. Maybe the battery's dying. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off one second. See, I should have been prepared with that. We're doing one take one just here, baby. Okay, number seven. Okay, high volume, high volume. Excuse my shitty handwriting. Low calorie recipes. Cal recipes. My handwriting is getting worse. High volume, low calorie recipes. Now, when I say high volume, I'm not talking about how loud it is. I'm talking about the amount, the amount of food. For example, you can eat a lot of these apples. Uh, they're higher volume compared to something like, I just got this out of the fridge at work. These little chocolates, okay? Now, obviously, you're gonna want to you want you're gonna want to eat that, but that's gonna be hundreds upon hundreds of calories where you could eat a shitload of apples and be completely satiated. Like, how many apples are you really gonna eat? So, find out recipes that are high volume and low calorie. Now, I, wa I watch heaps of Greg Doucette's videos. That guy's freaking awesome. Things he's taught me and things that I've implemented are I have huge salads where I just put in heaps of veggies. Uh, sometimes I'll have. Uh, Cauliflower, cauli cauliflower rice or like broccoli rice. Or you can eat popcorn too, so try popcorn. But the best thing to do is just literally go to YouTube and write high volume, low calorie recipes, and you'll find heaps of things there that'll keep you satiated, but actually won't have a lot of calories. Um, one thing I like is like protein ice cream, so I'll just get heaps of ice blocks, put in my Nutribullet, a uh, little scoop of protein, half a banana, some egg whites. I'll put in maybe, uh, what else do I put in there? Xanthan gum, but not too much because sometimes it upsets your stomach. Uh, you mix that up and you get like a protein ice cream. And then you just literally eat that and that'll keep you fuller rather than just drinking your calories. So high volume, low calorie recipes, it's an absolute must. Get onto it, just got on YouTube. Okay, number 
Eight is invest in appliances. Now, when I say appliances, I'm talking about things in your kitchen because you really need to become a master chef and enjoy food if you want to get shredded. I'm telling you, it makes the world a difference to actually know what you're getting. I'm not a massive, no offense to those meal, meal prep companies, but can you trust what they're putting in those meals? Maybe you can, but for me, I don't want to know every single thing I'm putting in into my body because my body is my temple and I want to look freaking juicy as. So, invest in appliances. Now, the best appliances that will work for me are, as I try set, is best one so, so far is number one, multi-level steamer, electric. If you just Google search multi-level steamer, they kind of look like this. And then you can, there's a little thing at the bottom, you add water and then it steams through here and you just put your veggies and shit in there. So I cook all my potatoes and veggies in multi-level steamers. They're actually great. Uh, and then you can get an air fryer too. So get an air fryer. Air fryers are freaking awesome. I love doing my uh, fish in there. So my salmons, my barramundi, all the fish I put in the air fryer. So I invest in those things, feel good. Make your meals, make them super sexy. Now, number nine is just getting to a habit. So habits take, you know, between 10 and 27 days, depending on what you read, to, uh, to create. So get into a habit of preparing your food. Buy meals at the same place. I get all my fresh fruits and veggies from Alexander's, which is literally next door. I get my chicken from my mate, my mate's, Alan's mom's chicken shop in Oakley too. And she actually minces the chicken breast in front of me. But I'm in a habit, I just go there weekly, I get my fruit and veg, I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm getting things from. And I've created habits, even with the prep, I know when I'm prepping my meals, I use the same Tupperware containers, but creating those habits so it just becomes habitual, uh, day in and day out. Once it hum becomes habitual, it becomes really easy, but just get into a habit of creating habits for yourself, of preparing the food, doing the cardio, whatever it is, just create good habits. And tell yourself, I'm, I'm a habit creator, I wanna create good habits. And if you've got friends, like my previous video, that have bad habits too, tell them, you know what? I'm on a mission here to get lean. I can't be around, I can't be around people with these bad habits or, you know, going in out, out and eating junk, especially if people tell you, oh, just eat that, don't feel so bad. No, screw that. Be a beast, don't eat that shit, because you really need to dedicate. If you want to get down to the 12, 11, 10% body fat range, like 10% is freaking shredded. It's lean, trust me. Um, you have to create really good habits and be disciplined. So go beast mode on it and get really good with your habits. Okay, number 10, it kind of comes in with, with number nine as well, but uh, it's a few things. So discipline, discipline, I think that's how you spell it. Consistency, consistency, and, oh yeah, the unwrapping analogy. So. I saw this from a YouTuber, I can't remember his name, but that's a paper towel, right? So your fat are the rolls on this paper towel. You need to keep unwrapping that paper towel. You just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's where consistency comes into play. So it might take you longer than you think to get lean, but trust me, if you're tracking, you're doing all these little things and the calorie breakdown is really for someone else or a coach to help you with, but these are more are the mindset things or the habits you need to create to become shredded. Because trust me, you can do it, but you just gotta be consistent. So the fat is a paper towel, you're wrapping it, uh, unwrapping it, you gotta keep taking those layers off. And the parts that are, you know, that are on your lower stomach, on your back, you're just going deeper and deeper. So just think of it like that. You keep you keep taking the paper towel off, um, off that piece of cardboard in the middle, which is your shredded, freaking beautiful, sexy physique. So. Then my top 10, mindset, tracking, eat more, move more, food prep, phone inspo, clean out the pantry, high volume, low calorie foods, invest in appliances, habits, discipline, consistency. That's it, you can do it, trust me. Make it your best year. It's only like the 2nd of, uh, of Jan, 2022. Hope this video helps some of you. If you want more videos, let me know. Um, they're all one take wonders because I can't be bothered editing them as well. But hit subscribe. Hit like, please comment below for the algorithm. I wanna make some more content too. I hope you enjoyed it. All the best, let's get juicy baby, and uh, I love you all, peace.